Hello guys and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me your host Owen, the channel that brings you your team every single day, the channel that brings you all the latest news, views and updates on what is going on at Ibrox um, from what, from our, the biggest team in Scotland, the biggest team in football, the most successful team in football, Glasgow Rangers. If you don't want to miss out on any of that great free content, then all you need to do is hit that sub, ring that notification bell, set it to all. I hope you caught the news video that went out this morning, guys. If you haven't, please go back and check it out. Lots of news, obviously, about lots of things like Alex Lowry, about fashion leaving Rangers, about how those three there are going to help Rangers to be successful against Servette on Wednesday night. Anyway, Let's talk a little bit of Barry. Let's talk a little bit of Barry Ferguson. Barry Ferguson, ex-Rangers captain, a Rangers legend. I know that some people don't like Barry. I know some people thought that he, he left under the wrong terms. But for me, Barry Ferguson is someone who is Rangers through and through. He loves the club. He shows through what he says and how he acts now that he loves loves our club and he and it means the world to him and he wants this club to be successful again you know and that is something at the end of the day we all want don't we um Barry Ferguson has been having his say in response to what Rangers fans have been saying about the game against Kilmarnock on Saturday and needless to say Barry is not a happy bunny he is not happy I don't think anyone's ever called Barry Ferguson a bunny now, apparently one Rangers fan on a phone-in said that I would suggest if Michael Beale doesn't make the Champions League and loses to Celtic, he might not make it to Christmas because some fans are already restless with him. There's a lack of goals in the team, which is very worrying. Which I know, considering what we've spent this summer on centre on forwards, it is very worrying that there is a lack of goals, you know, through pre-season and through Obviously, that first game of the season, there was a complete lack of goals. But a lot of people, obviously, are Rangers fans in particular, are pointing even to last season that at no time last season did Rangers look particularly impressive or did we ever sit and go, wow, what a performance. I suppose the only two examples you may be able to think of that is, is the Hibs game at Ross 3, Hibs at Easter Road, uh, Hearts at Tyne Castle, and that old firm victory, which, look, for being honest, didn't really mean a great deal. Because it was league over, uh, you know. Yes, it does. I suppose mean an old firm game. There's always things riding on old firm game, uh, but uh, a three nil uh, win over Celtic. But it still remains. I think that you know Michael Beale has never beaten Celtic when it really matters. And I think yeah, the pressure will be on Michael Beale. I think if he doesn't qualify for the Champions League, and also if he loses that first game to Celtic at Ibrox, especially as it is at Ibrox. Barry Ferguson responded to that comment by Rangers fans and to the comments in general that Rangers fans have been making. And this is what Barry said. He said, this is the way it is. I knew that it would happen here. There's people starting to get itchy feet, but that's the way it is up here. It's a wake up call for some of the players. They will realise that they're coming in for criticism, but that's the way it works at Rangers. You are demanded to win every game. It wasn't good enough on Saturday. Now, Barry is, again, 100% correct in what he has to say here. You know, he says that that's the way it is up here, that, that, that you're expected to win. And that's the fact, you know, when you come to Rangers, when you pull on that sacred blue shirt, when you turn out for our, our, our wonderful club, you have to do it from minute one. There is no acceptance of second place. A draw is not good enough. You know, I once heard Barry Ferguson say that, you know, he said that some players, that new players didn't get it. You know, they'd come in at half time, perhaps drawing nil nil or only winning one nil and be like, why are the crowd not happy? And Ferguson would be like, well, because this is Rangers. That is not acceptable. You know, we expect to win every game and win every game comfortably. And that's something that players need to realise. And I think, you know, he's right that, that a lot of these new signings will sort of start to get their heads around now. The kind of criticism they're going to get if Rangers don't cut it. And that is clear, you know, they have been getting an awful lot of criticism, not just for the Kilmarnock game, but for pre-season in general. And Barry's right. You're demanded to win every game and it wasn't good enough at Rangers. I once heard, I think it was Ferguson say, I think Stevie Clifford said the same, you know, you have 10 minutes at Rangers to impress. That's it. If after 10 minutes you're not good enough, Rangers fans decide you're not good enough. Richard Goff once said that you are... At most clubs, you are only as good as your last game. At Rangers, you are only as good as your last pass. That is literally how it is a lot of the time. And these players do need to wake up and realise the pressure is definitely on. But Barry's right. Again, it's not good enough. They need to realise and they need to have a wake-up call. And he's hoping that this is the wake-up call that they need. 
let's hope that uh, that these words and that uh, what Barry Ferguson has to say and what the fans have had to say have really stung these players and have got them to turn things around. And we need a big, big performance, a good performance on Wednesday night against Servette. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of what Barry has had to say. Like I said, I personally love Barry. I think he's ranges to ranges through and through. Cut the guy, I think he'll bleed blue, a red, white, and blue. So fully support what Barry's got to say. Please hit that sub, ring that notification bell. And as always, I need you to do two things for me. Number one, smash that like. And number two, remember, we are the people. <laughs>